My name is Jeff Pospisil, and I'm continuing through my journey of setting up QuickBooks online. And I'm uh, right now I'm at the stage where I'm going through the account settings and that part. I know that that's a part some people might be intimidated by, but there's some important things there, but there's a lot of stuff you could ignore. And so let's go ahead and look at it. So here we are on the main screen, and I still have some setup to do. Um, the one place we're going to look at right now is just the account settings. So under accounts and settings, I click on that, and there's a couple things I could do. I can add my logo, which I always like. Um, I already downloaded it right before this, so we'll see if it works it's processing i just always think that looks sharp i do have my ein but i'm not going to put it in now i'll put it in later if um when we first signed up we we if you click the right things most of this should be filled out already all mine is set up as a form 990 nonprofit. although i am not required to most churches aren't but other 501c3s are required to fill out a 990, so that's not bad. E either way, it's not bad if you have that checked. Um, I have, I should put in my website. I think it's .org. I'm going to double check real quick. Yep, it is. All right. And I'm going to put in my own phone number for that one. And I'm going to save that. I'm not going to save it. That is a password, though. I'm also going to add in an address. And save that. And I'm not going to change my preferences. So that all looks good. All of a sudden you see that's what we did here is we just added that in there. And then on our invoices and, and um, statements, that address that I put in will now go on to those. So that's, that is an important thing. I'm going to go back into accounts and settings. All right. I didn't mean to click off so quick. So we just did this first company one billings and subscriptions. So if you're through TechSoup, uh, you know that it's cheap and it's right here. I could also have a chance to upgrade my plan if I wanted to. I'm not going to, but um, it, if the time comes when I need to, I can, which is nice. There are also other features you can add over there in this billings and subscriptions and that's what i wanted to show you as well i shouldn't have probably clicked on that anyway but there's if i need to add payroll or when the time comes to do payroll and i do really really like uh, quickbooks online payroll it is just super slick super easy again the most important part is if you just know how to set up your payroll then everything is very automatic um, I've never used the full service bookkeeping, although that might be a good thing to do someday. Um, QuickBooks online payments, I have used that before. Uh, well, I take that back. This is if you're receiving payments. Um, I, I've used the checks and supplies and I've paid bills online. I've used, I think it's bill.com is what I've used. All right, usage. This just tells you how many uh, uh, with the, the I'm, I'm on QuickBooks Online Plus, so I get five users. Currently, I'm the only user. There's a chart of accounts and a, a tab, a tag groups. I do like using tags every now and then for, um, yeah, sometimes it's easier to sort, uh, be able to filter your transactions or search through your transactions if you use tags. Sales, I'm really not doing anything with that right now, although I do plan on uh, receiving donations through here. So when I get to that part, that'll be kind of exciting. Um, I don't know if I need to show an aging on the bottom here. I'm going to turn that off. 
because I uh, I'm thinking of donations, so I'm not going to show that they're overdue on their pledges. Maybe so. Um, if I wanted to do automatic pledge reminders, I could do that. No late fees. Um, some of this I haven't thought through all the way yet, so I will have to worry about that when I set up my donations. Billings and expenses. Um, I do, again, like to have the tags there. And I'm not going to have any billable items. So if I, um, for example, sometimes I, what I'd have is some churches that are um, sharing a pastor. And so having billable items is not a bad way to do it. Then you can split a transaction and make part of it billable to the other church that you're serving. So uh, that's not a bad way to do it. I've seen people use tags or um, or this billable items, and the billable items would actually work pretty slick. Payments, again, I'm not using that yet. That's if I want to do accept payments. That's not making payments, it's accepting payments. Time, I'm really not planning on tracking time through QuickBooks yet because we don't have employees. Uh, this one is the one I wanted to go to. It's advanced, but it's really not that advanced. Um, if, first of all, what's your fiscal year? We are January through December, so that's our fiscal year and our tax year. I do want to use accrual, and I do want to have a closing date. And this, well, I'm not going to do it right now. But I do want to use that. Uh, so the reason why you close the books is so that you don't accidentally, after you close a month out, you, you don't um, change anything that was before that. So you don't accidentally post a journal entry or a deposit or an expense to a month that you've already reported on. So you really do want to lock that up. Tax form, we've already had that one. Chart of accounts. I always like to have account numbers, and I like to see the account numbers. So, uh, yeah, th just when you have your chart of accounts, I know some people don't like that, but for me, it helps me visually see the order that I have. Tips accounts, I do not need a tips account. Track classes and locations, I am going to say yes to classes. Um, I am going to say yes. So, the, and the reason why I'm going to say yes is a lot of times when I have designated, um, I don't know about a lot of times, sometimes I like to use classes when I use, have donor restricted funds. It's just another way to break it out. So instead of adding another account to my chart of accounts, I can add a class. And uh, anyway, I do like that. Pre-filled, automatic, um, if I want to pre-fill anything, Automatically apply credits, automatically, I'm not going to worry about that. Projects. <sighs> you know, I, I don't know if I've ever used projects, but I'm going to leave it on there. Uh, Multi-currency, I'm not worried about that right now. And other preferences. Date format looks fine, number format looks fine. But the one thing I might want to change is instead of customers, members, is probably a good one or donors either one of those would be all right and for me i think i'm going to use members because i'm going to be setting this up where churches are donating to this organization uh, warn me if a duplicate number is used and i do want to be warned if i enter in a duplicate bill so that's a good one too uh, yeah I don't want to duplicate journal entries, bill numbers, or check numbers. And sign me out if I'm inactive for an hour. That all looks good. I'm just going to say done. All right, I know that this has been slow progress, and I, we didn't even cover a whole lot of ground, it doesn't feel like. But it's so important that we get set up correctly. Next time, next video I post, it's going to be on the chart of accounts. And then I'm just going to start actually entering in some transactions. I have some transactions that I've had accumulated for the first three months, and I want to get those entered in there. So um, 
Yeah. I hope this has been a blessing to you, and until next time, God bless.